Hello, welcome to what will be a bit of a look back at some old source codes. You might have noticed there's a bunch of old Dark Basic uh, examples on our website. Uh, this will take a bit of a look at some of the, the demos. We'll start off looking at a portal visibility demo. Now this demo, I think it was made around 2003. I'm not entirely sure about that. It's running on Windows 10 and unfortunately these old applications don't run very well on modern editions of Windows. Uh, I think it's something to do with the, the retain mode requirement for DirectX 7. Um, the frame rate's very low, but, but what the example is showing us is actually a, a way of pre-computing visibility from certain points. Um, I'm showing the map here on screen at the moment. and The sections in red are what the camera uh, can see from its current position, and the parts in blue are, are what it can't see. That's what you would expect from portal rendering in general. You want to cull out as much of the geometry as possible. So you're rendering stuff that you either can see for sure, something that's very highly likely that that can be seen. Probably a better way of putting it. So here we're actually testing a, a ray intersection. They can run ray intersection against the objects in the portal structure. Uh, this is not built into Dark Basic, this is just, just an example. Because I really wanted to help uh, speed up the performance of people's applications. It just seemed like one way to do that was uh, to try and get DB to render not everything, just render what you can see from the, from the player's point of view. Of course it does clip to the screen and uh, as you can see it, you can set the clipping depth as well but pretty much anything that's within that cone it's in front of the camera uh, gets thrown through the rendering pipeline and that can eat up a lot of processing power. Particularly back, you know, back in the early 2000s where well, I think I was running like a GeForce 2 card or something like that, so it was a lot for the card to render. So that's why the textures here are very, well, very low quality. Uh, but it's an interesting demo uh, in retrospect and I think probably a lot of people have never seen it. Um, it's not that easy to do in Dark Basic. So that's our visibility uh, demo. The next one we'll look at is I think very early on yeah, with when I started using Dark Basic. Initially, I was actually using it to do things like build my website of all things, um, and I started messing around with the three D component built into it. So again, DX7 retain mode, so it's very slow. And what, what I wanted to do was actually try and build my own math-based collision library to try and avoid the polygonal collision stuff that was built into DB. It, it does work, it's just very slow. Uh, the little ball object in the middle is my, my test pointer. I'm sliding around different surfaces. What was normal at the time, or common at the time, was sliding off orthogonal shapes, and I wanted to have something that was could handle not just squares and rectangles, but um, cylinders and disk shapes. They so could make more interesting small environments. So the particles there are using the same detection. It's not perfect, but you know, for the time, it was an interesting demo. I think that one's been lost actually. I couldn't find the source code for that one. This one is computing a shadow in software, of course. Uh, DB Classic doesn't have shadow rendering at all. So to do that, between the sun's position and the plane on the ground, which is really just a texture, so we're doing a, a visibility test from the ground to the sun. So we're checking uh, if the, oh, we're hitting the object there. So it's just really just a bunch of ray intersections. So it's pretty slow. But it makes for an interesting demo to look back on. I, I, I actually have forgotten about this demo, to be perfectly honest. It's one of those things that was hidden on the old site, and when we, when we move sites, obviously things get lost and 
you don't bother pulling them back up because you think, well, no one's going to look, look at those things again. But you might as well. Now we're really struggling to render that, yeah. Uh, you can see on the top top right hand part of the screen it was talking about the the texture map. The shadow map is uh, 128 by 128 pixels, which these days is peanuts, but to do that in Dark Basic and uh, which is notoriously slow for 2D rendering in general, because it's literally just uh, drawing a texture dot by dot and computing the visibility at each point. And then try to merge the textures together. I must dig out the source code for this one too. I, I think it's in the, the main collection, but it may not be. I lost a bunch of stuff when, when I had a, a course, a hard drive failure, the same, the classic reason that everyone gives for losing stuff. Um, had a, an external hard drive failure that I was using to back everything up on. Well, that's a bit of a look at those ones. Uh, one more demo there I've, that I've made a capture of, so I'll have a look at it. Oh, it's a, a bump mapper. Uh, it's hard to tell that bump mapping is in 2D here. So the text is just, just being applied to the cube for a bit of an afterthought, really. I think this, yeah, similar sort of controls before. You can set the size of the texture. Set the fall off rate of the light. If you look at the, the 2D textures shown in the corners, you can kind of see that. The cube on screen doesn't really show us uh, anything because the, the, it's all the same texture on all sides, so you need to compute maps from all those points, which is obviously too slow and dark basic. I was kind of hoping that it would run really well on modern systems, but um, these old examples would run really well, but it seems like Windows 10 is not that keen on um, DirectX 7 and its retained mode, which these, which Dark Basic uses. So um, that'll have to do us. If you want to find some more of my old Dark Basic examples, they're on our site. They should still be on our site when you watch this. Um, you're free to use them. Um, it's a bit of fun. Way back in the early. I think I was probably most active in the, around about 2000 through to 2000 and uh, probably three or something like that, maybe four. I'm not quite sure now. So there's a bit of stuff there. I have been meaning to make a collection and actually put it all out there officially, but um, like everything else, it just doesn't seem to get done. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.